Hey guys, Nick here and welcome to my Linux experiment. In this part, we'll cover the basics of Elementary OS's web browser, as well as more popular alternatives you might already know from other systems, such as Firefox or Chrome. Tabs. Tabs work here as you'd expect, with double-clicking the empty space on the tab bar to add one, or pressing Ctrl plus T on your keyboard. You can close tabs by middle-clicking on them directly, or middle-click on the empty space of the tab bar to close the latest tab you opened. Finally, you can reorder the tabs by a simple drag and drop. The Options menu Epiphany has a complete Options menu found on the right side of the interface. These functions are pretty standard, with the new window, which is activated by Ctrl plus N on your keyboard, the new private window, Ctrl plus Shift plus N, or the ability to save a web page, view its source or access history or the app's preferences. Saving as a web app This is more peculiar. If you want to have a very quick access to a specific web page, then you might want to save that page as a web app. To do this, just click the Options menu and select Save as Web Application. You can choose a name and icon for that app and it's going to be added to the Applications menu on your system. These apps will open in a tabless browser window and will get their own icon in the dock just like a regular program. Search and History Epiphany groups Search and the URL bar in the same bar up top. Type what you want and press Enter and you'll be taken to Google. To change your search engine, go to the Options menu and click Preferences. By default, you'll get a choice between Google, DuckDuckGo and Bing, but you can add more. The search bar also serves as a search tool for your web browsing history. For example, if I want to go back to Twitter, I'll type Twit and Epiphany will offer me a few pages I visited that match this query. Bookmarks will also appear here for quick access. Preferences not much here of note, you can change the Downloads folder, the search engine, as well as disable pop-up windows and ads. In the Privacy tab, you'll access Cookie Preferences, as well as the Do Not Track option, and you can access passwords and clear history. That's mostly it. Alternatives Ok, so you've tried it out and you don't like it. No problem, Elementary OS supports a lot of browsers. First, go to the App Center. You'll find there Firefox, which I highly recommend. Since the latest version, which is version 60 at the time of this recording, it can even disable its title bar in the Customize menu. See the video showing up in the card above to know more. You're not a fan of Firefox? OK. You can also download Chromium. Chromium is basically Google Chrome, but without the non-free software bits. Apart from that and the icon, it's the exact same browser. Still want the real thing? Look for Google Chrome on your web browser. You'll find that you can download a 64-bit DEB package or an RPM package. Choose the DEB. It's a Debian package, which is the file format used to ship software on elementary OS and other distributions such as Ubuntu or Debian. To open it though, you'll need to install a little app called Eddy in the App Center. If you don't know how to go about that, check out part 5 of this guide. Once Eddy is installed, click your DEB package and Chrome should install normally. Now if you have more esoteric taste, you can download Opera, which comes as a dev package as well, or even Vivaldi. So that's it for this little video, I hope you enjoyed and that you'll give Epiphany a shot. It is a really capable browser once you've accepted that it doesn't have extensions. In the next part of our guide, we'll check out how to customize your elementary OS a little more than what's available out of the box. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! If you want to support the channel further, please consider sparing three small clicks. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for the support!